welcome back to the channel. My name's Designer Slash Gamer, and today we're playing Lego Worlds. You guys remember Sheila? So Sheila is here in Jurassic World, and we've made a ton of progress. We've built tons of cool things. We've added lots of great detail. We've added some beautiful plants, and we've made the biome look a lot more jungly because that's how Jurassic World is. We've also added a super cool enclosure right over here because. In this episode, we're going to add lions to our Jurassic World. We want to add more than just dinosaurs because there's only two dinosaurs available in the game. So we want our Jurassic World to also be a zoo. So we've talked about this before, but basically we're going to be adding a bunch of animals and animal cages for all different kinds of animals, not just dinosaurs. So we're starting with the lion enclosure right here. So let's, let's uh, zoom out here and show you guys how cool this is. We've put a bunch of lights in because, you know, you got to monitor these uh, lions closely because who knows if they'll try to escape and you got to light up the area well. We've also added a lion's den right here because, you know, every lion needs a den, right? And then we have a bunch of boxes of steaks because lions love steak. <laughs> the only thing is we have a lion. We've unlocked a lion, but we haven't unlocked a lioness yet. So we're going to travel to a playful prairie world and we're going to find a lioness and bring her back along with her lion back here to our Jurassic World. Careful, Sheila. Don't jump in that cage. Don't jump in the cage. We also added a lot of cool barriers and fences along the streets here in Jurassic World. We wanted to mimic the look of this super cool dinosaur enclosure that you can find in the showcase builds of the game. But we wanted to change it up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more like our Jurassic World. So we added these cool orange neon lights and some blue neon lights. And we added some titanium black color. And then we have a little bit of a variation here between fences. Because what do I always say about Legos? Detail is king! It's always good when you add extra details to Lego builds because they look much cooler. So we've created a path here over to our raptor research um, and raptor arena. And there's also a path over here to the Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom. And then there is also a little entry point right over here to the bridge that goes back over to Ivory City. And you guys, it's amazing. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World is looking so cool. We've also added some plants. I mean, these totally look like dinosaur-y, Jurassic-type plants, so I think they fit perfectly in our Jurassic World. And then, you guys saw it in the last episode, but we want to show you again, just in case you missed the last episode, but if you did go back and watch it, because it's super cool. Wild Style performed one of the world's coolest singles in last week's episode, but now, in addition to our super cool arcade, we also have a beautiful concert hall in Jurassic World on Main Street right here. And we got Blue Space Guy up there. He loved it so much. He loved the concert so much, he just didn't want to go home. That's how good it was, you guys. That's how good it was. But look at this beautiful concert hall. Let's get up here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Check it out from up here. Oh, yes. Beautiful. So basically, this is the concert hall build that you can get from the game. It's available in the showcase build. And I believe if you didn't download it initially, you can get it from the DLC showcase pack that is free. And I think that's available on PC, but also on consoles. Hey, Sheila, Jurassic World is kind of quiet. There's not really a lot of citizens over here. I wonder if they heard that we're going to be moving some lions in and they're kind of worried about uh, becoming a lion's dinner. Um, so if you guys didn't see the last few episodes either, then you also missed the super cool pizza place. It's amazing how many awesome things we've added to Jurassic World in just the last uh, few weeks. So be sure you check out that live stream if you haven't yet where we build the super cool pizza place. All right, Sheila, let's head to the rocket ship and we're going to go to a playful prairie world. We're going to find the lioness. We're also going to find a lion and we're going to bring him right back here to Jurassic World. And they're going to hang out and they're going to be our lions and they're going to love it here because it's beautiful. Why wouldn't you want to live here? It's so cool. And you get free steak, right? You get free steak and you can choose rare or medium rare or well done. But we all know that steak is its most delicious when it's medium rare. <laughs> All right, Sheila, head to the rocket ship. All right, guys, we are on our way to a soup. Whoa, that was quick. 
So Sheila's already dressed for the occasion. I mean, you guys know that she's basically... She's a paleontologist, and she's dressed like an explorer. Because that's the way she rolls. It's her favorite way to dress. Oh, this is cool. So the cool thing about creating an entire world from one single biome is that we should be able to discover all the things that we haven't yet that are only found in this biome. And we can bring them back to our Jurassic World. And look at that. There's already something we haven't discovered yet. Sweet. Let's go, let's go here and let's discover this tree. What is that? A savanna tree. Cool. All right. So we're going to try and find this lioness. Oh, we got to protect ourselves though because this looks like it could be kind of scary. Do these guys have lion eggs? Hey. Or lion eggs. Did I just say lion eggs? What? Lion eggs? Lions don't lay eggs. Why did I just say that? <laughs> dragon eggs. These guys have dragon eggs. Look at this kitty. Wait, do we have a brown cat? Oh, I wasn't talking to you, but I guess we can. Help me control the sea and I will reward you, I promise. Okay. You want to tr... <laughs> Sheila, you better not have given them our only trident because we want to keep that. But now we get a water dragon. Yes! Okay, let's talk to this kitty and see what he wants. Hey, kitty. What's up? You you want a lion? You want a lion and a lioness. Well, you know what? That's going to work perfectly because we also need to get a lioness for Sheila to bring back to Jurassic World. And there's a lioness right there. But how do we... Ooh, how do we get them? Oh, there's so many of them. I think with the lioness, I think you just have to defeat them. And then you have to give them some steak. I think that's how that works. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look how cute he is. We should be careful. So before we defeat them, why don't we just sit here and enjoy how adorable this lion is. And look at how happy Sheila is to be on this lion. <laughs> No, she's not. <sighs> Sheila, did you really just tickle the lion's tummy? You did not. <laughs> do it again. Sheila, do it again. That was so cute. Come on, Sheila. Do it again. Do it again. Tickle his tummy. Tickle his tummy. I do this to my dogs all the time. There we go. <laughs> nuh uh <laughs> So this is pretty cool that we found a lioness that quickly. There's a whole bunch of lionesses. Look at them all. But we got to jump off here, Sheila, and we have to figure out how we... I think we have to... I feel bad. But the only way in this game to unlock certain animals is to defeat them and then give them what they want. So, oh, don't attack us, please. Don't attack us. Uh, so we're going to have to do it. So let's go ahead and defeat this poor lion. Do it, Sheila. Oh, no, I feel bad. Here we go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, no, we're going to get attacked by all of them. This is not going to work. No, Sheila, run, 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 run. What? Lions don't swim, do they? Do lions swim? Alligators swim. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have like 15 lions chasing us. No, stop. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we can defeat them with the... Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, they're all out there. Let's see if we can find one all by himself, all by herself and defeat her. Which lion is all by herself? Hmm, maybe this one? Are you by yourself? Get him, Sheila, get her. Get her! Ugh. Get her! Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Look at her, she's totally stuck here. She's stuck here. Yes! Oh, F discover! Oh, we can give her some steak! There we go! Yes, Sheila! You unlocked the lioness! Yeah! F to discover. Yes! You guys, I can't believe we've gone this long playing this game. And we still hadn't yet unlocked a lioness. I mean, that is insane. Look at her. She's so cute. Okay, so this lioness needs a name. So go ahead and leave your favorite lion name. Preferably one that starts with an L. Because I, I like doing that. Um, in the comment section. And we will get this lion, this lioness named. Hi, lioness. Hi. Okay, let's, let's, ooh, is she growling? Is she growling? Hi. Hi, look how cute you are. Look how cute you are. Okay, so let's, uh, now that we have lions and lionesses, let's go over here. And let's put some lions here. 
Oh, all we have to do is put one lion in here. So let's just get our discovery tool out here. And let's put a lion in here and discover this kitty too. We did it! Okay, so she wants, kitty wants an orange fish. So we didn't have a brown cat yet? My gosh! This is why it's so cool that we're visiting this biome because, this whole world biome, because there's all these things we didn't have yet. Sheila, put that fish away. Okay, let's hop on our new lion. And let's ride our new, oh my gosh. Yes. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta watch this for a second, you guys. Ready, Sheila? Go! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at Sheila's face. She was like, I was born to ride a lioness. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we can get from this biome. I'm pretty sure we've discovered all these grassies and stuff. Ooh, look at the treasure chest. All right, Sheila, let's hop out. Oh, I know you love your new lion. <laughs> look at her. Okay, let's hop. No, Sheila. Let's go over here and let's open up this chest and see what's in here. What's in here? Come back, lioness. Stay around here. We want to keep riding you for a little while. <gasps> a trident! Even though we already had one. Sheila does love her trident, though. Look at her. <laughs> so they have tridents in Minecraft, and they're really cool. Um, let's put it away. Come here, lioness. Come back. Where are you going? Oh, well. Who cares? It's fine. It's fine. Look, you guys! It's Sheila! Oh, hey, Sheila. Oh, we're boring you? That's kind of rude. Oh, is this lion trying to attack us hey Sheila you better watch out you're getting attacked by a lion although it doesn't seem like it's working too well look at him just pushing her into the water <laughs> look out Sheila <laughs> huh this Sheila is totally immune okay you guys where's that air I thought I saw an airplane over here let's hop in the airplane and let's fly to a new island and just see if there's anything that we haven't look at all those gold bricks let's see if there's anything that we haven't discovered yet on another biome here. Okay, let's hop in this airplane. There we go. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think you have to go and then get some speed and then up with shift. Nice. <laughs> Sheila's flying to a new island. Let's see. Let's go this way. Ooh, look at all these elephants. So we've got elephants. We've got all those cool plants. Sheila, we gotta go on expeditions more often. This is really fun. Wait. Oh, wait, we have a parrot. Right? You guys, it's kind of hard to remember what I've unlocked and what I haven't sometimes. I'm like, did I unlock that? Did I? I don't remember. Oh, they killed that poor elephant. You guys, be nice. Be nice to that elephant. Oh, this is such a beautiful planet. Oh my gosh, I love Playful Prairie. All right, what else can we discover on this Playful Prairie? Well, there is a dungeon here, but... Ooh, it looks like a pretty big dungeon, too. Is there a minotaur in here? <laughs> Still looking for that minotaur. I think we'll save this dungeon for a different episode. It looks super cool. It's the sandstone dungeon. It looks cool, but I think it'll take too long to go through a dungeon. But you guys, look at that beautiful sandstone dungeon. Oh, I love the architecture in this game. I wonder how close you can fly to the ground without like hitting the ground. Oh, pretty close. Look out, elephant. <laughs> Look at the lion up in the tree. How'd you get up in the tree? What the heck? Have you guys ever seen those goats that climb up in trees and there's like goats all over the tree? How do they do that? They have hoofs. How do you climb a tree with hoofs? I don't understand it. That's always baffled me. What is that? You guys, look, it's the TT Games logo. Pretty sure I haven't run into this yet. Or maybe I have. I don't think I have, though. I don't know if it only spawns in this biome. So the makers of this game are TT Games, and they created this logo out of Legos here. It's pretty sweet. This looks pretty cool. What is this thing? Is that... What is this? Let's go ahead and land the plane, Sheila. Careful, Sheila. Careful. No, no, no. Don't land it in the water. Here, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. There we go. Okay, let's hop out of here. Let's just see what this is. What is this? What is this giant pit? 
Hey, elephant, what's up? What does this elephant want? You want us to paint you some water? Oh, you guys, looks like the elephant is thirsty and he wants a watering hole. We can do that. We can do that, elephant. All right, let's see. We just need to get river water to paint this whole thing. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger here. There we go. We got horsey. Ooh, this is kind of messy, isn't it? <laughs> there, that works, right? Yep, we did it. Okay, cool. We've already unlocked elephants, but we may as well uh, do this little quest for him. We're done. Sweet, yes. <laughs> Sheila loves elephants. So you guys remember, so if you guys have seen the very first episode, the first thing I ever did with Sheila was ride an elephant. So I feel like we should just do that. We need to make an enclosure for elephants. <laughs> Look at her. We need to make an enclosure for elephants in Jurassic World. I think that'd be super cool. Maybe we'll make it just like this uh, biome, just like the playful prairie. Okay, guys, let's head home to Ivory City and let's go ahead and place our brand new lion and lioness in Jurassic World. All right, guys, we are back at the rocket ship and now we're going to head home to Jurassic World and get our lion and lioness moved in. Let's hop in the rocket ship, Sheila. And let's set a course for Ivory City. Maximum warp. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in Jurassic World in Ivory City. Let's go down here and let's get our new lion and lioness placed in their super cool lion's den. I hope you guys like all the new improvements we've made to Jurassic World. It looks pretty amazing. It's really coming along. We've got a lot more to do. I know I always say that, but <laughs> we do. But it's coming along great. Okay, so there's no real way to get in here just yet. We don't really have a door. So actually, why don't we climb up the ladder like we're supposed to? <laughs> let's climb up here. And then let's jump on top of the lion's den. That's probably a safe place. Let's just check out this lion's den, though. What's in here? Just Oh, yeah, just bones. Okay, I guess that's what's to be expected in a lion's den, right? All right, guys, let's get our lions all moved in. We've got a watering hole right over here for them in case they get thirsty. Okay, here we go. Lion time! So we're gonna get our lion and our lioness all settled in here. Lion. Oh, wait. Lion cub? That's a lion cub? I think one of you guys tried to tell me there were lion cubs and I didn't think it was a thing. <laughs> and now I feel terrible because it is a thing. It looks like a cat. That, that's a cat. It's a lion cub. Great. Okay, so let's get our lion cub in here. I, I guess a lion cub would look like a cat. Isn't that right? I can't believe I thought that that wasn't a thing. Okay, so we're just gonna put a lion cub in. We're gonna put a daddy lion in, and we're gonna put a mommy lion in, a lioness. And we need some names for those. So you guys, go ahead and leave a name for our lions. We need a name for the lion cub. We need a name for the lioness, and we need a name for the lion. So go ahead and leave those in the comment section. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so cute. I would try to feed them uh, some steak, but I feel like that's not gonna end up too well because uh, they already want to eat Sheila. They're like, why bother with a steak when we can just eat Sheila? She's much bigger than your average steak, right? And she'd be totally rare, not even medium rare. <laughs> All right, guys, before we end the episode, I just wanted to remind you that if you want to live in Ivory City, be sure that you come by the live streams on Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time, and I will get you moved in while I'm playing and building in LEGO Worlds. So be sure you come by if you want to move in to Ivory City. All you have to do is come by to the stream, let me know in the comments that you want to move in, and let me know what your favorite character is and your favorite color, and your first name, and we'll get you moved in to Ivory City. So before we head out, Sheila really wanted to show you a super cool building that one of you guys posted on designer gamer.com in the community forum. Remember that if you build something really cool in LEGO Worlds, don't forget to upload it to the community forum so that I can show it off in the weekly episodes. This is a pizzeria build by Jasper VK, and it's so cool. It's so detailed and so amazing. Look at this, you guys. I just love that you got, I mean, look at the creativity. Look at this. 
Look at the awning, look at the detail here of the exterior, look at the bricks and the windows, and then look at the interior. This is a, like, this is a quality build, you guys. This is just amazing. And he's even got a pizza guy here with pizza sauce all over his, all over his outfit. And we got a kitchen here. I love the tile floor. This, look at the pizza ovens here. This is very, very impressive work. Jasper, I am very, very impressed with your work here. And he even has a pizza clock. <laughs> like, seriously. This is way cooler than the pizzeria that we built. And now I want to upgrade our pizzeria so it can be it can be a little bit cooler. Because Jasper, this is amazing work. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Let's Play LEGO Worlds, then please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Buh bye